welcome to another video on LLM learning series in last video we have seen intuition behind transformer attention mechanism before we start reviewing detailed architecture and mathematics around transformer architecture I think it's important to understand how LLM generate text when a language model like GPT generates a response it doesn't generate everything at once it builds token by token based on probability but there is a twist there are many ways to choose the next token and this choice changes everything do you want the model to be fast creative factual or diverse now let's first look at how this generation works during inference time so if you remember for LLM it will be decoding part of the transformer model that is used to generate tokens in LLM model we'll have multiple decoders and the input token will go through that decoding process and based on decoding strategy there will be output token that will be generated and this process will go on where input token plus output token will be fed in the next iteration to generate next output token and that's how the LLM model generate one token at a time and it uses decoding strategy to explain it further suppose to the model we give one prompt saying generate a sentence starting with we focusing on generative AI and LLM now let's take a look how this works here we are feeding this entire sentence as input and the token wise will start with first token as we while model has already seen this entire sentence and it uses this entire sentence plus we as the input token at the first time step we'll only show we and so on here we'll be showing random as a decoding strategy so first time step we will fed into model and model will generate a output token and here you can see it's using random selection from a target tokens that model is generated here we are showing four tokens and you can see the probability wise when selecting model is not really picking the highest one but randomly from these four choices usually the entire vocabulary will be available with some kind of probability for each token for model to select or decide based on its training data and of course the input token so you can see every time it's generating an output token that output token is again fed together with input token and then it's generating next token and so on so it goes on till the entire sentence will be generated and here you can see the token that is being generated not really the highest probability one but something from these four tokens that just we are showing here for explanation purpose and that's how it has generated this sentence let's explore few important decoding strategies first we'll start with greedy search greedy search is like choosing the most obvious next word no randomness and it's great when speed matters it's simple and when you want consistent output this is the method we need to use but the downside it's often repetitive and boring like a robot stuck in a loop for task like classification or basic QA it gets the job done so short factual tasks it's the go-to approach let's run through how this LLM works so here it's generating token one by one and decoding strategy is greedy so if you notice every time when the next token is selected from a list of tokens here we are showing top four it's always picking the highest probability token that's where the greedy search comes in so if you see first time first token second time the output 
add it into the token so it's using two tokens to predict the third one and so on so these numbers depends on context window or context size and based on that each tokens are generated next we have beam search beam search is like group brainstorming instead of going with just one word it keeps multiple options open, expanding possibilities and pruning weaker ones. It often results in smoother sentences, especially useful for translation. But it's not cheap. It takes more memory and can still sound safe or repetitive. This is good for translation and summarization. Now, if you look at beam search in beam search here though we are showing only one token but in most of the cases beam search will predict many sentences up front and among them it will pick the most suitable one so in this case here mostly you see it's selecting the highest probable one but beam search is a little bit more complicated than that here though it's showing one token at a time but underneath it's actually creating many sentences like this one and trying to see which one is most probable or most suitable for the prompt or task that is being asked for it next we have top k sampling top k is where we introduce a little chaos we cut out the long tail of unlikely words and sample from top k choices. It's like picking from a short list. More interesting than greedy, but still somewhat controlled. Ideal for stories and creative tasks. It's also used for dialogue. Now, if we look at top k, here our k is 4. So, what model will do that every time at decoding step, based on input tokens, it will select output token based on the four most probable tokens. So, here it's not really picking the highest one, but randomly picking from these top four tokens. So, it's the number that's where it's deciding how to decide input token and then select the output token and that's how it's generating the generated text next we have top p sampling it's also called nucleus sampling this is a bit smart twist on top k instead of a fixed number we pick from top probability mass say the smallest group of words that together have 80 percent chance this makes the model more flexible especially in complex or creative conversation but it requires careful tuning it adapts to the moment that's why it's useful for ai chat open-ended generation temperature sampling think of temperature like a creative dial set it low and the model plays it safe perfect for facts crank it up and things get weird wonderfully messy temperature is rarely used alone and it's often combined with top k and top p for balance too high temperature most of the time it will give a gibberish result it's paired with top k top p for better performance next we have contrastive search contrastive search is the new kit on the block which uses diversity penalizes repetition it doesn't just look for likely words it also asks does this sound too familiar to what i just said that way it avoids repetition and keeps content fresh and focused it's slower and complex but it's very good for long form content like essays and story writing so what we have learned there are no one size fits all. Knit fast, factual replies, go greedy. Want a fluent translation? 
maybe Beam Search is a better choice. Craving for creativity, top tea with temperature is your friend. And for rich, long form writing, contrast tip is where it's at. Decoding is the art behind the output and mastering it unlocks the full power of LLMs. So choose your decoding strategy based on your goal, speed, creativity or coherence. So with that, we have come to an end to this video. I hope you liked it. Post your comment and if you like this video, share with others, press thumbs up. Thank you so much. And in next video, we'll be looking at transformer architecture.